Hi everybody, thanks for joining the YouTube channel today. Uh, today we wanted to go through the basic operations of the Trustify Outlook add-in. The Trustify Outlook add-in um, is very useful for um, really easily sending encrypted email messages. Um, you know, sending encrypted email messages is one of those things that you want to be just as seamless, easy to use as possible. You want to make it you know, easy for the recipient, um, but if it's, you know, an extra layer of hassle or lots of work, just people won't do it, right? So um, Trustify's got a great Outlook add-in that makes uh, sending encrypted emails super easy. Um, for the basis of this video, we're going to assume you have the add-in loaded, um, like I do here in, uh, in my Outlook. If you need to uh, install the uh, add-in, check um, the YouTube videos that are out there for installing the add-in. It's super easy. You just use the, um, the add-in tool that's built right into Outlook to, um, to add that from the, the Office Store. So yeah, so for now we're going to assume that you already have that. Um, and from here, we're just going to click on this add-in. You'll notice that you'll get this little panel that shows up to the right. And this is where we can configure our options for the Trustify email encryption. Okay, so I'll start just by typing a email address to send a message to here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, my Hotmail address. Okay, and down here we now select the three options that we can apply to this message um, that Trustify gives us. So the first one, basic, is just to encrypt the message. Um, so this is encrypting it in transit from our email server to the recipient's email server. We can add authentication. Now this is basically like adding a two-factor authentication to the message. Um, so basically the recipient will be required to input a PIN code that they will get delivered separately. Um, this will give them access to read the message. This is a great security option um, to apply to your message because it's really easy for the recipient to use and you get that extra layer of security. And then the postmark option basically gives us delivery tracking. It tells us when the message was received and read. So really nice to have um, that extra postmark feature in there for like really important messages that you don't want people to say, oh, hey, I never got your message or something like that. Basically, the postmark feature guarantees that. So to use the authentication piece, let's just to go back to that, you'll notice in my contact I've got a little pencil icon and this pulls the uh, cell phone number from the contact. So that's where um, if I use the cell phone option, that's where the authentication is going to use for the uh, two-factor authentication. If we click the show advanced, we can set some of the options in here. Like for example, that pin code, do we want to have it come in through phone? Do we want to have it be an email? We could even have a prearranged password that we um, have set up with the recipient. We could use that as well. I like the phone option a lot. I think it's super slick and everybody's using uh, text messages a lot these days, so it's really a pretty easy option. Message expiration can be set here. So, uh, you know, if you uh, want the message not to be available uh, for very long, you can set that to a shorter duration. We can control whether the message is printed. Um, and this track links feature down here, I find that to be kind of cool if you put links in your messages and you want to know if uh, the recipient clicked on them or whatnot, um, you can activate the track links feature. Okay, once we set that and we have all of our options set here in terms of what we want, all we have to do is hit apply. That applies the uh, email encryption to the message and from here we can just type out the message just like we would any other message. Um, we can attach files and at this point we can treat it just like any other message and hit send when we're ready to hit send. So that's really the basic functions of the Trustify Outlook add-in. Um, leave your comments down below and um, look for future videos on the Trustify email security platform.